with Roy Jones is that um, he is perceived, and I think quite correctly, as a guy uh, who deals all the cards and also makes all the bets. You know, he, he dictates quite uh, regularly what the other guy is going to make. He dictates who he's going to fight, who he's, and more importantly, who he's not going to fight, who he's not going to give a rematch to, which is, thus far has been everybody who was uh, even remotely competitive uh, against him. And I think that that becomes distasteful to people. Even in this promotion, uh, you have uh, uh, Jones with a $10 million guarantee and Ruiz agreeing to take all upside and no guarantee, and Jones is basically doing next to nothing to promote the fight. They were supposed to have uh, the cover of TV Guide, which would be very helpful the week of the fight, and Jones didn't show up for the photo shoot, so they didn't get the cover. Well, that only hurts Ruiz. Jones has got a $10 million guarantee. It doesn't matter if anybody watches, he gets his money. And those kind of things become distasteful to people in boxing, I think, and people who know what's going on. When you put on top of that the fact that he appears to be unwilling to, to give a rematch to James Tony. He was unwilling to give a rematch to Bernard Hopkins. Uh, he was unwilling to fight Michel Shevsky uh, because uh, he wouldn't go to Germany and so forth. You tend to sit there and say, well, wait a minute. You know, if you're this great, you don't want to be challenged. You don't want to fight the people that most people think will at least give you a challenge. You want to keep fighting these. Uh, he got angry with me at one time because I wrote he had beaten every form of municipal employee. He had beaten a postman, he had beaten a policeman, he had beaten a fireman, he had beaten a bus driver. He had not beaten a trash driver, but I suppose if there's one out there. And that is, that bothers people. You know, the next time uh, I ran into him, he was cool to say the least, you know. And I said, you know, what's the matter with you? And he said, uh, he's one of those guys who doesn't like, you know, he always talks in the third person. One of those guys who doesn't like Roy Jones. I said, I don't like or dislike Roy Jones. He wrote what you did. I didn't choose to fight a cop and a fireman and a, you know, and a, t oh, a school teacher too. I forgot about that. A nice man, the school teacher. But, you know, so what are you doing? And even in this case, in my opinion, uh, if Bob Foster, for example, when he was the great light heavyweight champion and some consider the greatest, he chose to fight uh, Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali. You know, not Jimmy Ellis. Uh, you know, if, if, if the present light heavyweight champion really wants to make his case, go fight uh, Lennox Lewis. Well, he thinks he can sort of shortcut it, in my opinion. He thinks Ruiz is the lesser challenge. He thinks that he can get all the credit for becoming a heavyweight champion. Um, sort of going around through the back door, in my opinion. But I think what he's going to find out is when he gets around by that back door, there's going to be a big Rottweiler there waiting for him, ready to bite him. And, and then we'll see what happens. I have yet to, to concede that he's a great fighter. He has great skills. And I think today we sometimes confuse great skills with great uh, being a great fighter. And I think that greatness comes in boxing not only with your skill, but you must have a foil, a great opponent. Ali is not Ali without Joe Frazier. Uh, Leonard is not Leonard without Hearns. And, and, and Hagler is not Hagler without Hearns. You need that great challenge where the world is saying, you know, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when he's challenged? If Ray Leonard sat on his stool in the 13th round against Thomas Hearns with his eye closing and Angelo Dundee saying, you're blowing it, son, and said, you know, you're right, I think I'll quit, we wouldn't say he's a great fighter, despite his skills. And, and I'm not saying that Jones would or would not respond in that way, but we don't know. And he's going to be penalized for it.